Christian, and I'm from my service the singer in Camden School. And I'm Kerry, the keyboard player. You sang most of it out on November the 2nd. Yeah. Um, can you tell us? I thought it was released yesterday. I know, I told everybody. Yesterday, no, Monday. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, can you tell us a bit about the, the new song? It's called The Sweetest Thing. Um, it's a kind of, um, I guess, uh, sort of tribute to people like um, Al Green and you know, Al Morrison and sort of. In the town, yes, I guess, in the mm -hmm. um, and we got a guy called Nikolai Dunga, who's a Swedish artist, um, great singer, great soul singer to sing on the record, um, which was really good fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's got some lyrics about your mother in it. Yeah, <laughs> she's always good in the pop song. <laughs> and, and tell us about the video for the, the song, it's a wee bit. It's not probably what we would expect. No. Just an average day in the life of Camera Obscura, really. <laughs> um, no, we just thought it would be fun to sort of have fun, you know, in a video. Um, we're not very good at, um, or we don't enjoy, you know, performance videos. Um, um, so we thought, well, let's just have fun day, you know. Um, so we decided to sort of, um, I guess, to some extent, um, Become our heroes in the and, video. And you're Simon and Garfunkel, is that we right? We are Simon and Garfunkel. There are some references in the song to um, Paul Simon's song, Fifty Ways to Leave Love, so that kind of started it off from then. Yeah, like, um, from there. Mick Fleetwood and Stevie Nicks and Dusty Springfield and, you know, um, learn from I'm not sure show. he's a hero right now. <laughs> I think you should maybe have phrased that better. And Doctor Who. Yeah, and Doctor Who. <laughs> How was the moustache? It was fine. I quite liked being a man for a day. I sort of took on this stance where I sort of stood with my legs apart, like with my, you know, coming up to women, like with my hands in my hips, and you know. Um, I, it was I didn't enjoy was wearing my blonde afro wig at all. Um, no, no, no. Because no. <laughs> we we sort of wanted to dress up tonight for the gig. Kids haven't none of it. <laughs> And, and, and the same outfits? Yeah. I'll probably do it. A bit, but no. <laughs> Party pooper. Yeah. This year's Yankee Lang Lang Mark year for you. Do you think that you're now maybe starting to get the recognition that you may deserve? Um, a wee bit more widespread attention? I don't know if I would necessarily say we're getting what we deserve. You know, we work, we've worked hard and we're gradually becoming, our profile's becoming, you know, bigger in, in the UK and I guess in other places. Um, it's nice to get recognition for the work that we've put in. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody necessarily deserves anything in particular, you know. I think you get what you what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> if I just contradict yeah, myself. Yeah, kind of. But I know what you mean. Yeah. But it's it's nice, you know, it's nice to 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 um to have a higher profile, mm -hmm. to, you know. Do you songs in Hollywood films? Mm -hmm. Big TV shows. Yeah. Um, I think that we're, you know, I, I think that we're, and I don't think this is a bad thing, I think essentially Cam Obscura are a cult band. You know, some of my favourite bands are cult bands, and, you know, you can. You might have a CV full of things that you think would make you famous, but somehow they don't. Yeah. But that's all right. I mean, yeah. I, I sort of, I thought, I thought about it recently, and I think that. I, I do have a feeling, I'm not just saying this, but I do have a feeling that we, we are and we probably will remain to a certain extent a cult band. I don't see us all of a sudden, you know, becoming big stars or... I, don't, I just don't think we're going to be the sort of band that people en masse are turned on to. That's fine. But we want to be a cult band that can play the Barrowlands and don't have to play the every week. And what are your hopes for Cambridge School at it? For Next year, beyond that, how, how do you, what do you foresee? Um, 
don't know if I've had time to really think about that one because I think my hope has always been that we would become full time and we are full time there. I guess then it would just need to be that we get bigger, you know, we, we, we get to do more things, we get the time and the freedom and the luxury of having that time and freedom to express ourselves and take it to the next level if we can. So I guess essentially to make a record that's better than the records we've made and mm. um, see more of the world, you know. Mm. We're very fortunate. I don't to think we're kidding ourselves that we're ever going to be an enormous world conquering band, but I don't think we've reached everybody who could potentially like our music yet. So I think we just would like more good things to happen and to keep working hard and try and find some more fans. Yeah. <laughs> more fans, yes. <laughs> more fans, please.